guys so i interrupted the previous video when i was cleaning because my husband came in and we were talking about a project we were working on um these are what i'm going to mix and use in this mold today will be the first pour this will end up with three pours to get it done but today we're going to do the paws the paws will be in the basic purple and then the outer edges around the paws will be the glittery so that's what we're doing. I've got my resin mixed up here. I went ahead and did 400 mil because I've got more than this paw to get done today. And um, and then, uh, but anyway, that's where we're at. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff to the side. I'm gonna double check because it looks like, because everything sticks to everything from the static. So it looks like I need to um, sticky this up <laughs> and my uh, chair. For some reason it was way low and we're not doing that. So let me grab some tape because I did have this clean and then I decided I was getting my stuff together and I was laying things out and yeah. Come on, there's a little something, something there. All right, I think we got it. I'm gonna stick that over here to the side. All right, so I've got my sticks, got my cups. Um, I'm gonna pour just a little. We're gonna do um, a little bit of ink with a little bit of mica for the pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the mica in the bottom of the cup just like a heapy, heaping scoop right there let me knock that off and i'm already getting bubbles to the top over here yep okay let me go ahead and pour this in here and I'd rather have too much mixed up than not enough. That's just how I feel about things. Oops, let me grab a paper towel. We got some spillage. Don't need spillage this early in the game. Okay. Yep, I'll grab another paper towel. Let me just wipe this cup off. I don't even know where any... You know, it's kind of weird because... You cannot spill, you cannot make a mess, you can think that you're doing your best to keep things nice and tidy, and then all of a sudden you've got resin and you don't know where it come from. So, that's why gloves. <laughs> all right, so, let's stir this up. Go ahead and zoom in on that if I can. There we go. And if my husband comes in here talking, um, I'll just tell him keep it clean. Because <laughs> we've got so many projects going at one time. So many projects. We're doing Christmas Eve boxes and birthday boxes and tumblers and ornaments and you name it we got it going on oh and his 3d printer um he's got orders in for that adult um ornament that he printed now people want them so that's pretty right all right, let me get something to lay down here. And we're gonna add a couple of drops of this purple. And the reason I'm not doing just plain purple ink is because purple ink tends to look brown. It gets a, it gets a weird um, dirty tint to it sometimes. And I know some brands are worse than others, but this is a Christmas gift 
puppy project or dog project and I need to get it poured so it can sit and finish curing. There, that is pretty. Yep, we got a little something in there, don't we? It's like a... It's, it's a dried piece of resin. And again, you never know what's gonna, what's going to uh, end up in your resin. <laughs> We're not working in labs, people. There we go. Now let's zoom out a little bit. So we got the paws ready to pour. Now I'm gonna set this out of the way and we're going to do the glitter. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger cup for the glitter. Um, the request is purpley blingy, so and I know the girl and she loves her bling. So we're gonna do the Dolby Jelly. Remember, we just got that in. And I said that we would be using the uh, new glitters and things that I got in with some of these new pro with these projects I've got left to do. And let me get this opened up and so we can get some out. Okay. So look how pretty that is. And you know, whenever you got a mix of chunky and fine, things settle. So that's why you'll see me sometimes reaching further in than just the top to get some things from all the way down. One more. All right, let's put this up. And we're gonna be using some Raspberry Delight to give it just a little bit of some pinks and um, some other colors. Like I said, I go all the way to the bottom. I reach down through the middle. There we go. And because I want a little bit of extra shimmer, you know what I'm adding to this, right? What's my favorite go-to? Crushed Crystal. Favorite. Let's add a big old chunk of that. All right. All right, now we're going to Mix our resin in and get that stirred up. Get my paper towel ready. There we go. Make sure. And I reuse these cups over and over and over again after they dry. I just use the tape, pop everything off. Um, if it's on the outside, it can stay on the outside. Let's stir this up. Wow, that's pretty. And I'm not going to add any kind of colorant to it. We are going with just the glitter. That is so pretty. Look at that. Make sure you scrape the bottom of that cup to get everything up. pretty. Yep. All right, we've got that ready. Set that over here out of the way. I'm going to carefully remove this, shake that off, and I've still got another mess. 
What did I do with my tape? There we go. It's always something. I'm not so upset with glitter that's outside of the paw pads because that's where the glitter's going. So we're good. Because in here is where we're just putting the plane. So, I don't know. There we go. We're good. Because the other places are okay. So, I'm going to do just a little bit of a spritz. There's that. And I use 99% isopropyl. I use a lot, but honestly, I don't think I use as much as people would think. And I do a lot of resin. But I go through about a gallon a year of isopropyl. So, we're good. Alright guys, so we're going to pour this into the paws. Let me get my paper towel ready here. And wipe this, set this down. And we'll keep the paper towel so in case we get some drip. And I'm not sure, can you see that? Let me see if I can pour from this way. Not left-handed. And I do have my heat mat on underneath this on top of the leveling table. I'm going to run my stick around. There we go. But because I did spritz it with alcohol, it should do pretty good. But I don't want to pour too much in these pad areas or even where I'm going to put the glitter because I don't want to mix. I want a clear separation. All right, I'm gonna put us on fast forward, guys, really quick. This will be the edited version. I had several people complain about the music at the end and then the fact that I did not share how I finished it up. I'm not going to go into an explanation as to why I didn't share how I finished it up. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to tell you, because I do know that a lot of you want to know, my husband cuts the vinyl out. We put the name on the paws, and then we printed the picture on a printable vinyl, and put that in the big paw. We do that more so because of the bleeding from a picture that's not protected. I know that I can protect a picture, but for me, this is so much easier. Now, I do appreciate you watching. I appreciate the comments and the messages, and um, I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you.